Welcome to another Simcoe support video. In this video we're going to take you through installing the software manager on a server and then going ahead and installing a editor and connecting that to the server on a workstation. So as you can see right now we're inside of a Windows Server 2012 R2 um, I have my install right here and I have my license key right here. So we're going to start off by selecting the install and I'm going to right click and use run as administrator. And we're going to get that started. We'll say yes. We'll say okay. Okay, so we have our Simcoe. Let's go ahead and select the next. We're going to go ahead and agree. We're going to hit next. Go ahead and leave the check being place configuration install directory. We'll go ahead and say next. Now we have typical custom and complete. In this case you want to use custom. So select custom and what you're looking at is what you're going to install. In this case I do not need to install the editor or any of the DNC Max product. What I do need is the software manager here. So we'll go ahead and set that for will install on local drive. Now you've had to have gone ahead and downloaded basically our DNC Max package that will contain all these different options. But in this case, like I said, once you've downloaded this, the only thing you need to install on your server or it can be a workstation on your network being the software manager. So we'll go ahead and say next. We'll go ahead and let that install. We can see this is completed. We have an icon here. We'll say finish. We have a few more applications to install. Now that all of our software is installed, we're going to go ahead and take the Simcoe key and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to the C directory where I have my Simcoe folder installed. Go to software manager. I like to drop the key in here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that key in here. That way I know where the key is and also when I go to start it, it will actually see the key in this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and start the software manager. Say yes. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to choose a file and we can see that that is inside of our software manager the key is right here we'll say open it's gonna ask me do I want to activate this online yes we do license activated this is good we'll say okay license file successfully installed say okay and we'll go ahead and start the license manager in this case it's looking to see what firewall configurations are set up I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to allow it to add to the rules for our Simcoe. Now we can see that the license software manager is starting and it is listening for our clients. So we can go ahead and close that and that'll continue to run in the background. Now that we have the software manager running on our server, go ahead and minimize this remote desktop connection and I'm now on a workstation. I have the install for the Simcoe edit only. In this case we have just set up the software manager so that we can use multiple licenses as a floating license server of the Simcoe edit software. So now we're at the workstation side. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to right click and tell it to run as administrator and start the install for that. Say OK. Going to go ahead and install. Once again, agree to the software. Next. Same thing as before. Place in the configuration and say next. And we'll just go ahead and select typical to install. We'll say OK. We'll go ahead and say finish. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is we have our icon here for the editor. We'll go ahead and start that. We can see license key not found. If I had an individual license key, then I would go ahead and find that. In this case, since we set up the software manager, we're going to go ahead and say contact license server. 
So you'll select this and it should see across your network. Of course, if not, go ahead and type in the IP address for that server. In this case, it did find the server. I will say OK. Let that go through for a moment. You'll see that your editor will launch and show you who it's licensed to. And now you've set up your software manager, your Simcoe edit, and now same procedure to go to any other workstations. If you have other workstations that you need to install, install on each one, have it contact the software manager on your server. This is Jason Kramer with the Simcoe US team. I hope you find this helpful in your installation of your software manager and your Simcoe editor.